29 feet, 48 feet of deeps on a 24 foot deck. Oh, All right, stop. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My so, name's Ashley. This is Josh. Josh. Back there's Jeff. I'm Jeff. And this is Ohio <laughs> Off-Road. <laughs> Today we are at Jeff's garage. Yep. Because we have a big project we gotta do. Uh huh. So what are we doing? So we are trying to fit two Jeeps, so our four-door and Jess YJ on a 20 foot. 24 foot. Oh, 24 foot gooseneck. So to do that, we gotta build ramps to kind of park it up on the gooseneck. So we already have the ramps. Well, Jeff has the ramps. Yeah, they're back there. Way back um, there. I think we're just gonna drill right here. Run a rod through, mark the other side, drill the other side, and then figure out what else we have to do from there. But we're gonna see. But with diesel prices and everything skyrocketing, this should save us a lot of money to be able to put both our Jeeps on one truck in one trailer. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, what's the game plan? Jeff's gonna drill it. Center punch <laughs> and drill. Center punch and drill. <laughs> but why there? Uh, we don't know. It just looks like a good spot in space. Just the logicalness of it, it should work. So Josh, yeah. between the two Jeeps, uh -huh. how long is each Jeep that we need to make up for how much distance? I'm 13 and a half. Yeah, this is 13 and a half. I think the JPs are like 15 and a half or so. So you put that together, you're at like 29 feet. So we're trying to fit 29 feet, 28 feet of Jeeps on a 24 foot deck. So we need to make up about four to five feet. But we actually, both me and Jeff, we did some hand calculations. I know, pretty nerdy. <laughs> Everything works on paper, and whether it works in real life. If stuff should work on paper. I had to bust out, figure out trig, sine, cosine. I'm like, I don't know how to do this, but we did some trig and everything should work out. I did some drawings. Yeah, Jeff did some like actual drawings on CAD. Like oh, solid, CAD like, like, like real CAD, not cardboard aided design, like computer aided design. So it should, it should work. So I mean, we're figured out. Okay. Oh, we know what we're doing. <laughs> Lack confidence. This thing's crooked. Yeah, it's walking a bit. You would put it in straight. <laughs> Wouldn't have this problem. Right. So their calculations here is it's 35 inches up and two and a half inches in, which should allow for clearance of we probably missed the mark. this thing here. Yep. A game we get to play with Jeff is where did Billy disappear to? There he goes. Woo! Woo! Good job, Jeff. Pop went the weasel. They get my fitness. Girls for the girls. <laughs> I hope you know I have you on camera this entire time. Officially part of Swole Team Six. <laughs> Did you deburr it already? That's like super nice. That's as snug as snug is gonna get. And we are way off. <laughs> like, if I let like go, do you think that'll hold it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoops. Is it zero? 0.3 degrees, point oh, four. That's pretty much zero. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Let go of it and see what happens. Ha, stay. Okay, so now we just got a zero on this side. It's in a, like an inch and a half. That might be pretty good. Yeah. Oh, off to the inside of that flange there. Yeah. Inch and a half. Let's 
right there. Get to find Santa. Yeah, how do you find the center? Like eyeball it. Use your eye chronometer. Eye chronometer it. That looks like a center. I think you're slightly in. Here's there Tom it is. Hardy. Sure about that? No. Definitely <laughs> not sure. Definitely, definitely have no idea. Does it fit? Tape measure. How's that look? Let's see what it looks like from That side has to go out my. Yeah. I'm just wondering if it. I like it. Yeah. It looks good. It'll work. It's perfect. What are you measuring it out to, Josh? I don't know. Whatever is the middle. Yeah, right there. 17 and a half, 17 and like 5 eighths. Okay. 9 16 I guess. That's why you're using tape measure, you're the smart one. So right now I have two people doing two totally different tasks. So... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Jeff claims he doesn't know what he's doing. Josh is up here with a grinder. And he is going to grind off some of the paint off the trailer up here. That way we can weld welding washers to them. And Jeff is currently working on the welding washers or trying to get ready to. He just has to hollow them out just a little bit more because they don't quite fit over the rod just yet. So he's got that. Josh just stole the other one, welding washer. So yeah, I'm trying to get as much footage of both of them as I can. Come here, Will. Hi. Oh. So, Josh figured out the area in which he needs to grind off the paint. That way he can weld. He's got the other one. Jeff's getting his air dremel hooked up. It's so a, a little crooked there. You're not supposed to do that. Somebody's got a lot of stickers. Let's so check it out. Yeah. Not gonna lie, that looks kind of medieval right there. This one? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Woo! Josh grinded. I just gotta get lined up with his markers again. Yeah, that's definitely not where your marker was. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So we got everything ready. The bar is all ready to be welded. Jeff got the welder out. So we just gotta hot glue it together. Got that all done. Looks pretty good. It'll hold. It'll do. It'll do metal sticking things. So we're good. So when we welded it, it got a little tight on us. So because we don't think things through. Yeah, we don't think things through. So now we got to beat it back into place. All right. So now it's time to assemble the ramps. So Jeff has these ramps here. There's one for each side. Um, this is the way up or the way that's going to be facing up. So what we're going to do, that way we can make them removable, 
is, when you flip this over, we're gonna take this piece of tube here, fits over that rod that we put in the, the trailer, and we're gonna weld a piece here. So Josh is cleaning up the other one right now. Jeff's gonna be cutting this tube, but that way we could slide these ramps on and off and they could be removable, and we'll find a way to secure them in place. Nothing to do but to do it. So Josh is out there grinding to get the surface we need to weld. And Jeff is over here going to use a chop saw to cut the tube the length that he needs. That is really loud. It's very loud in here. <laughs> Between that and the grinder going, my goodness. I would show you what Josh is doing, but all the sparklers are heading this way. Now Josh's gonna bevel the tube, smooth out the edge, and then we just gotta debar it, because that looks terrible on the inside. That'll be cut finger city. Right now we're welding, we're welding the tubes onto the end. And here's the test fit. How's it look, guys? It fits. If it fits, it ships, right? Right. I like it. Question is, is, is it going to work? It'll work. At least once. For how long? <laughs> <laughs> You're okay with having your sidewall in this? Yeah. I'm just worried about a cut sidewall. Well, I don't have good ears, so. Yeah, he's got good sidewalls. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this works. We're safe. I don't know. So we're trying it? Yeah. Yeah, what? So we're trying it? Yeah, we're trying it. We're gonna give it a good old test fit before we determine whether or not we gotta do more. I think you definitely need to go in with angle iron and put it like right where you want your top tire to be and make that one higher than the rest of them. That way it just kind of sits there, you know? Now let's see if the blue jeep fits. We got Jeff higher. Now you got zero in <laughs> Jeff, we'll just have to put some pool noodles up. Oh, you just got to explode. If it's, but we need to make it a little bit better, a little bit safer. Yeah, we don't need ramps kicking out. Nope. Plus, we got a handy dandy ratchet strap in the center. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we need to find a way to lock it in. Yeah. There's plenty of room. Well, there's lots of room. That bar is not even like the really bowing down. And no problem. It's bowing a little in the center. You can see the bow. I can see it from here.
All right, so last you saw me, we were doing the ramps and we had the hole drilled and everything and a beam and it would work, um, but we decided there was probably a slightly better way to do it. So I had these wooden ramps laying down there for about well, at my house for a while. So we just ended up doing these wood ramps and then we just lagged them into the deck with a few lag screws and everything. And we just made an eight hour drive down to Windrock and everything worked really, really well. But yeah, so that's, that's what we did. And you can see how close Jeff's Jeep is to the neck right there and how, how we are on the ramps. But it all worked out pretty well. We got 12 miles per gallon, roughly. And I think it worked good and everything fits pretty dang well. See how much how much room we have back there. So I think it's the better way. The, the ramp thing would work, but we would have had to build a, a deck on the neck, which for us only having a week to do it, we kind of would have ran out of time and stuff like that. So that none of that stuff happened, but everything did well. We did put it on a cat scale and you guys will be amazed that there's only 13,000 pounds on the neck, on the, not the neck, but on the trailer. And the rest of it was in the truck. So we are well within weight, but I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all the other fun YouTube stuff. All right, guys. Adios.